great top 16. Okay, yeah. Do you know anything about, uh, I'm, you remember Call Ball, right? Yeah, of course. Yeah, of course, of course. And then Sinbad, uh, you might not have heard of Sinbad. Is, is he newer? Um, not exactly. He didn't travel that much out of Jacksonville. Oh, I see. But he's a very strong Florida Chic player, so. Okay. Uh, I believe they probably played a couple times in the past, and uh, I would imagine that Cobalt probably came out the better end of that. Okay, well, I look forward to uh, seeing what each of them can do. So, uh, you went from being on stage in Bracket, putting on a kind of a show for us earlier, uh, and now you're commentating. Uh, yeah, I, I decided to um, uh, see if I can enter. I have a pretty busy schedule here at Momocon myself. But right, right. I, you know, always got to make time for Melee at these <laughs> events. Um, yeah, and yeah. and uh, I, I really enjoyed it. I, uh, you know, glad I got to, uh, you know, play at least, uh, you know, one match on stream as well. I had a lot of fun. Yeah, um, yeah. Yeah, kind of had to rush through the rest of my bracket and uh, get back to my panel. But uh, oh, here geez. I am again. So, yeah. you know, always happy to, to chill with the, the Melee fam. Uh, you, you almost got the Never Before Scene. Oh, I've never seen it before. <laughs> uh, I, I talked about it, but uh, oh, you, you did. Yeah, you didn't quite get it because you missed the first edge cancel. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. It's 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 really difficult because um, well, it's it's so risky because if you're a tiny bit off, then, then oh, you USD. Yeah. 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 Okay. Well, let's let's jump into this match here. Um, en enough about me. So uh, yeah, we're we're starting in Yoshi's not non neutral spawn positions, and that might actually that sometimes changes the the initial uh, momentum. The character on the platform, if there's someone uh, in the bottom center, sometimes uh, they they can take advantage of uh, their opponent on the platform and get in uh, first uh, uh, stage positioning advantage. Yeah, and, and you know, and as precise a game as melee, you want to take any advantage you can get, even if it's at the very start of the match, right? Yeah, of course. Um, and, and stage control is just so important. Being center stage and um, under underneath the platforms can can lend you so much. Wow. Uh, already sweet spot up smash to uh, quickly take that stock out of a dash attack. Well, like, we'll see. Uh, Cobalt's actually been kind of on a tear. He's been beating all the Georgia Sheiks. We have you know H Twa, who was uh, he was Mr. 81 on the top 100 last year, and he's beating. We have a couple other local Sheiks that he's just been beating. So okay, we'll see. Awesome. Oh, that was a, that was a tricky uh, double jump back after being pushed off the ledge there. Um, yeah, covering those cheek recoveries pretty well. Um, it's surprisingly hard to get the hang of that uh, with Sheik's various recovery options, but when you know you're going to see high-level players uh, almost always, regardless of where Sheik lands on the platform or you know into the stage, um, be able to uh, ledge hop and back air and, and uh, knock them back off. Uh, that's that's key against Sheik. Sheik's even harder to edge right now because people figure out you can shorten uh, parts of Sheik's up B. Mm -hmm. But uh, you know, once again, Caldwell's had so much practice recently against you know H Twa, S Deems, Ostentatious. He's pretty good at killing Sheik now. Right. If he wasn't already good before, which mm -hmm. he was. Yeah. Uh, and sometimes Sheik's in a particularly bad spot. They're going to uh, up be. Ooh. Uh, what went on there? Uh, so he light shielded, uh, pushed off, and then fared afterwards. Gotcha. Gotcha. Yeah. Um, oh man. There's a, a risky F smash coming up from the from the ledge. Bubble's definitely known for taking some of these risky options mm -hmm. and making them work somehow. Yeah. That, that dash attack just missed, uh, allowed, uh, allowed Cobalt to get back on the stage. Oh. One thing I've noticed about Sinbad uh, over, because he's been, he's been to a couple of uh, regional stuff, regional things, he tends to, you know, sometimes play a little harder than normal. Um, overall, he's pretty even-tempered, but you see, you can tell by how well he's reaction tech chasing off the down throw. Mm -hmm. uh, he's usually pretty good at it, but sometimes he'll just offer the read really early. Uh, but there you see how he just reacted. So. Yeah, sometimes when you're really feeling the pressure from, for instance, a really aggressive opponent, uh, you can start to get a little bit desperate and start taking bigger risks because you really feel a need to start getting in those hits and, and swing oh, the game yeah. around. But yeah, that pressure can definitely get to you. Like, right, right there, you saw him hit like, two action tech chases and then just drop the next one. Right, right. One but for the read. Th this, is a, this is a close game one, though. Uh, uh, shine, shine right out of the, uh, the tech chase there. Uh, Fox privilege. <laughs> Oh my god. That, that <laughs> smash, these F smashes. Yeah, they, one finally worked, and it was pretty good. The entry game has been pretty tricky from both players, too, because, uh, oh, what? Wow. What? <laughs> that was like a weak, weak hit of the down smash, just jumped right into it. What? Oh, wow. He didn't have to do okay. that. Now that this is getting really risky, I was oh. thinking, that, oh, there we go. He's set up for the KO. He didn't have to do with that. You know, he, didn't have to, he didn't have to end it like that, right? He didn't have to go for that fair off stage. Yeah. But he did. And, you know, he got it in the end. Also, once again, we're seeing a uh, cosplayer on stream, which is kind of cool. Oh. Yeah, I'm always, I'm, I'm, always, uh, I'm always down to see um, all kinds of awesome cosplays that we have at these, at these cons. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, one thing that makes these uh, events so enjoyable for Smash as well. This is a uh, Simpid actually also did this yet uh, earlier. DK? Yeah, the DK really? counterpick. Oh, my goodness. 
I was not expecting that at all. It's the DK on SD. DK tactic. on SD. Yeah, yeah, this is nuts. Wow. <laughs> okay. Oh no, Ben hit the uh, the uh, the up air there. Um, yeah, but just I mean I can see why because the uh, yeah the chain grab zero to deaths are, are insane against Fox. Yeah. Um, but it can almost go the other way around once Fox starts getting in on DK. It's it's uh. Uh, especially being pushed towards the ledge, I'm sure it's uh, really hard to take center stage again. And Fox has the wave shine yeah. to uh, yeah to push him right off. But it's definitely yeah a high risk high reward counter pick there. And I'm looking forward to seeing some nasty DK combos in this in this match. It's one of the things also since you know Sheik is generally considered you know not as strong on FD as compared to the other stages. So uh, if you're a Sheik main and you're kind of uncomfortable, <laughs> <laughs> was that a, was that to show off or was that a technical error right there? Honestly, with the oh ball, we, we don't know, okay, right? Yeah, he's the SD master, you know. It, sometimes he saves himself, but uh, yeah, you know, if you don't feel comfortable playing Sheik on FD, then you know, you know, you feel like it's a gimme game anyway, right? So you might as well try to kind of a goofy-ish counter pick. Yeah, yeah, fair enough. I I applaud Simbad for the effort. I, I love seeing the low tiers being busted out. Um, Okay, uh, messed up a ledge dash there, giving a giving a stock to uh, to Sinbad here. Oh, but so it's a pretty brutal beatdown. Yeah, down. yeah. I mean, it's always worth a shot if you, if you really think you have zero chance uh, on a stage like FD with Sheik, then you know might as well uh, go for what you are comfortable with and hope that either the uh, matchup and experience throws them off, or if you can just land, you know, you really solid uh, zero to deaths. Right. But yeah, that was a that was definitely a quick shutout. I have to applaud the effort there. Uh, yeah, for, for that for uh, that that DK. He got the, the he got a decent combo on the first stock after a grab. You know the center card carry up throw carry yeah. off stage. Yeah. But after that he didn't really get a chance to get a grab even. Yeah. He he dem he just demonstrated the potential. The potential is right, there. You right, know? Right. And that's what you see from from like from long time DK mains. Yeah. Um. You know especially back in New Jersey my boy NJ's finest. That's what he's. Oh, uh, Carl. <laughs> yeah. Carl. They're, they're amazing at pulling that off. But yeah, we're back to uh back to Sheik. Uh, on Battlefield now. They have the uh, the icon at the bottom of the stream again. I guess they didn't have one for DK because <laughs> they didn't expect a DK on stream. But yeah, Sinbad's still what uh, his character switch not really changing his gameplay that much with Sheik. He's still playing very, very solid. Yeah, wow. Yeah, nice crouch cancel uh, the wake-up attack uh, for a quick dash attack back on stage and shut out the stock with a forward air. Um, yeah, quick quick stock, only at, only at 23%. Uh, looking pretty, pretty good for Sinbad right now. But we'll see if... Uh, if anything switches around, he's getting pushed uh, to the uh, the ledge here. Oh, I was definitely the right choice there for a ball to get the damage because he couldn't kill Sheik off of back back air off stage again. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Um, instead of keeping off stage, just you know wait wait for a good recovery, and you're you're guaranteed you know with Sheik's end lag on the up B, you're guaranteed to you know get get a little bit of a combo, uh, rack up some damage uh, so that you can uh, get a kill next time. Oh, that coverage! Wow, <laughs> that up B was probably intentional. I've seen, uh, he's been... You think so? Yeah, he does some wild stuff, man. Almost the, the wild boy here. Ooh, that needle. Wow. Oh. Okay. Sort of strange platform warp there. I don't think Kobo was ready for that. Okay. Nice nice angle to uh, grab the ledge and uh, get back on the stage there. But yeah, that was, uh, that was, that was setting up to be a pretty nasty, nasty uh, stock. Simmons had some trouble uh, edge guarding that specific angle, too. Kobo's kind of pulled it out, um... Oh, Ooh. what a tech. Oh, it didn't matter. Mess up, get the hard thing, mess up immediately afterwards. Yeah, that's, that's the melee classic. Yeah, that's true. We'll see if Simbad managed to catch on to that angle. Oh my god. That was that was a great shine. It's it's surprisingly hard to to nail the exact positioning when especially when they're recovering high like that. It's a lot easier when they're coming in low because their options are more limited, but high, yeah, it's it's pretty hard to nail that shine. Oh, a couple drops so that's a slight mix up. You know, if you get in the bubble, it's kinda hard to see where Fox is, so edge guard's not always the easiest. So okay, we got a grab. M missed the tech chase, um, but Sim Simbad's doing an amazing, uh, an amazing job uh, with these tech chases and, and quickly racking up damage. And that's why uh, one reason he's been uh, uh, keeping up so nicely and, and taking these stocks quickly. Well, see, so the pace has definitely been in Cobalt's favor, but you know, every stock that Simbad takes, Cobalt answers back uh, pretty solidly. Yeah, that's true. Uh, so you know, it's up to Cobalt to change that the, the the script. You know, flip the script, as it were. Yeah, well, pretty much even here. Um, on game three, uh, Sinbad quickly racking up these up airs. Uh, d definitely disadvantageous to be on the platforms uh, when you're up against uh, Sheik's up airs that can poke through so nicely and, and juggle. Um, oh, got the jump. But once you're off stage, yeah, this is not looking good for Sinbad. <gasps> good jump shine. Gonna right, have to pull a crafty recovery here to get back on. Mm, okay, barely, no. barely made it back. Wow, this is really tense. 
Uh, oh, once, once one more of them is in a bad position, it can oh. really be anyone's. Oh no! Dash attack instead of forward attack. Could have been okay. it, but we got a forward air on the up B. Wow. And that's a big pop off from Sinbad. He finally uh, caught that angle too. The one he's been he's been missing the edge guard the entire yeah, time. Yeah, yeah, I get you. That that was an awesome set. Yeah, jeez. It's I, I don't know. I'm not sure what the second one is between those two, but I can't imagine it's 